Большой привет всем, друзья! С вами студия Рухаб, меня зовут Дима Not In My House, и сейчас мы пообщаемся с игроком команды Liquid, которого вы все очень хорошо знаете. Это Тайга, также известный как Томми Ли. Hey there, Tommy! Hello! Nice to so... meet you. So, how has it been going for you so far? Uh, it's been going great. Actually, I've been playing a lot of matchmaking and uh, I'm thinking I'm ranked 22, very close to 10k MMO. So yeah, it's that's amazing. Good. So, are you planning to to reach that level in um, in a week, or what are the uh, pl what are your plans about it? I'm trying. I'm thinking of reaching it tomorrow, but okay. I'm probably gonna lose. So I'm like taking it slow and steady. No tilt. If I tilt, I'll go 20 lose streak and GG back to 8k. So. Okay, so good luck for you further. Uh, <laughs> so I've I've seen some stories from uh, Vos Municipality and uh, Galstein and Hill in your Instagram. Such wonderful places, dude. Uh, are they from your hometown? Uh, yes, they are from my hometown. Uh, so uh, tell us a little bit about the place where you live. As I know, Norway is one of the one of the most beautiful countries in Europe. Yes, yes, yes. So. Uh... The pl my hometown is called Bergen, Bergen. So Bergen is uh, known for its scene, like the scenery, because of the mountains. Because Norway itself is like uh, surrounded by a lot of mountains, and Bergen is like surrounded by seven uh, mountains. So uh, it's very famous for skiing and hiking. So yeah, hiking is definitely the, one of the most uh, uh, famous thing to do in Norway. So I would recommend that it, once you reach the top is or when you're walking, there's so much uh, scene like you can take uh, pictures of and there's like um, like you feel like you're walking up the mountain in the old age because like lots of the mountains are not like modified or anything. They're just like nat nature, natural. <laughs> Oh, okay. I got you. So it looks like you've just had a little bit of a vacation, yeah? Yeah, definitely. Uh, the whole vacation was spent uh, in Norway by you, or you visited some other places? Uh, most of it was in Norway, and uh, some of it we were in Netherlands, in Amsterdam. And uh, speaking of Amsterdam, I've read um, in uh, an AFK interview you had a couple of months ago that your guys just uh, uh, kind of forced to stay in Amsterdam since uh, there was a lockdown and a tough pandemic situation. And uh, it looked like for me that you have a boot camp in Amsterdam. Is it true? Uh, no, it's not true. We were not boot camping uh, during lockdown. We... We came home safely, but I live in the Netherlands now, so it's easy for me to go to Amsterdam to like vacation. Okay, I got you. And speaking about the upcoming Omega League, you are going to play online, yeah? Not from bootcamp, I mean. Uh, I think we are bootcamping. Oh, uh, and where is it going to be? It's going to be in Utrecht, in Netherlands. Okay, okay. So, um, speaking about uh, the period of time just before your vacation, you guys uh, had uh, kind of a plenty of tournaments, but with some mixed results. Some of them were um, in the top three, some of them were just uh, behind it. Uh, how do you assess uh, this period for your team? Hmm. Our team speaks for a lot, a lot for itself. It depends on effort. The amount of effort we put in is where we're going to where we gonna place in tournaments. So if we don't put in the effort, then we're gonna be placed very poorly. But when we put in the effort and work for it, we're gonna be placed pretty well, like second, third place, and anywhere between like around that. If you try okay. hard, pretty much. Okay, and speaking of effort, how much did you had did you have at that period of time? When we were placing badly or good? I mean, I mean, there was a couple of months where you had uh, different results, pretty different. You did you changed your approach from tournament to tournament, or you just were focusing on uh, every game you were playing? We are uh, focusing like on every game we're playing generally, but uh, sometimes the effort we put in was not good enough because there be a lack of motivation. Of course, lockdown situation, in real life issues, you know, like a lot of things. So you can't really focus enough. 
and then but once we got rid of all of that, we put more effort in it, and then we play a lot better from game to game. Okay, and uh, speaking about the pandemic situation, which happened a number of months ago, um, you guys are one of the most uh, long-living rosters uh, in the Tier 1 Pro scene right now, but uh, you've never had such an experience playing in uh, these circumstances. So how this, did the situation influence your in-game relationship between players? Uh, to be fair, we we have played a lot of online tournaments before we qualified to lands. So we, in a way, used to playing online. But it does feel different not being in in lands or in boot camp and or something. Some like for a period of time playing online feels nice because like, you feel like it feels like a change. But for a long like if it goes, let's say. Uh, you play online too long, it might become like a bad habit. Maybe I'm not sure, but uh, bootcamp might be better now. To say, to be exact, like let's say, like before we become all of us become professional, we were pretty much just playing online, right? And I feel like falling back to that lifestyle in a way. So yeah, it was kind of a not a new experience for you. You mean? Yeah, not a, not a new experience, but okay. And uh, since you've came you've came back from the vacation, there are lots of tournament uh, tournaments upcoming, and uh, I hear from uh, many professional players that uh, there are there are no opportunities to practice well enough right now because no teams uh, are try harding, no teams try to practice uh, strongly because uh, there is no motivation for you. Uh, so how are you going to prepare for the Mega League, especially? Uh, it's a bit true that a lot of players is probably not motivated right now because of the we don't know anything about DPC and we don't know if there's TI or, and uh, there's just not like big tournaments to practice for. But I think Omega is like almost like a major. A major is a lot of stuff in the line. I think people is probably very motivated for this tournament and they might try harder and then like we might see like better Dota games to watch, more Dota to watch and better games. Okay, and uh, speaking of watching, uh, do you look after the closed qualifiers right now? Uh, not much lately, but having a break, a vacation. Okay, okay, so never mind. Uh, tell us a little bit more about uh, your coach, I mean Blitz. Uh, he was a uh, former pro player, he was a panelist and also had a lot of uh, a lot of experience in coaching. But we know nothing about his role in the team. While uh, in the pro scene, there are lots of types of different coaches. You know, some of them are motivating, some of them uh, keep their eye on the drafts. And speaking of blitz, what does he do in your team? He is like uh, mostly uh, the guy who makes us feel good. Like, make us feel ready for the upcoming games. Basically, like a motivational coach, I will say. But his, uh, he, like, check up on everybody, make sure they feel good, great and they're ready and that, like, they're not feeling down or if they're, like, keeping something inside them. Like, you know, if they're upset about something and then they don't want to talk about it, he usually shows up and be, like, that person's friend and, like, talk to them and make sure they sol solve the problem because he's very good at it. He's like a big brother to everybody in the team. Like, as a coach, he's like a, a big bro. Okay, and uh, you just don't want him to take uh, a big part in um, discussing in-game processes, yeah? He also talks in-game processes, but uh, I will say not very much, but he does have an impact on it. Okay, and um, the last question, I suppose, uh, speaking about the group stage at the Immortal Division, uh, you have uh, a couple of uh, great contenders in your group, such as FTM, NIP, OG, and uh, Team Secret. So sh share with me your thought thoughts on this list. What do you think? Uh, to be honest, I feel good about the group. Maybe not good at be playing against Secret, but... Uh... You know, no matter who we play, we're going to do our best and just don't look at the names. We just focus on ourselves and just like play the game we love to play. So, okay. 
glad to hear. So maybe a couple of words for your fans from CIS region. Okay, guys, CIS fans, remember this. Like during this lockdown, a lot of things have happened. A lot of, lots of bad things, maybe some good things in a way, because like eSport is more popular. So let's not just like uh, be all negative about this lockdown. Coronavirus was shit, but uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Hope that you endure. Like, thank you for enduring all of this shit during the lockdown, and uh, hope it keeps getting better and better now. So, and thanks for still watching Dota and supporting us. We really appreciate your support, and it helps us from like it motivates us and keeps us playing and uh, make us perform better. Thank you. Some brilliant words from you, dude. Thank you for joining us and uh, good luck further. Друзья, это был Томми Ли, также известный как Тайга, игрок команды Liquid. Посмотрел? Тогда с тебя лайк, подписка, колокольчик. И смотри наши видео снова. Я проверю.